But we do begin tonight here at home in this Category 4 hurricane barreling up the Atlantic, bearing down on Bermuda at this hour. They are bracing for a treacherous night ahead, the hurricane's effects already being felt. It's now moving parallel to the East Coast with high surf and rip current threats up and down the East Coast tonight. Winds now at 130 miles an hour, the storm some 800 miles across. In Bermuda, they were boarding up stores all day, winds picking up already, and look at this tonight. This is the view inside the hurricane this evening moving toward Bermuda, a sea drone on the ocean's surface, actually able to capture the 50-foot waves. That's what you're looking at right there. And then from up above tonight, hurricane hunters flying right into the eye of the storm. Senior meteorologist Rob Marciano in Bermuda tonight tracking this hurricane and the next tropical threat as well, showing a potential path straight toward Florida. Rob tonight from Bermuda. Tonight, with Fiona's outer bands moving in, Bermuda is boarding up. Officials here sounding the alarm. We want residents to please take this storm seriously. Locals grabbing essentials while there's still time. Power crews assembled and ready. This is the time where Bermudans depend on us, and we will rise and make sure that they are protected and that they get turned on as soon as possible. Hurricane Fiona is a Category 4 beast. C-130s flying inside the storm, measuring hurricane force winds now out to 70 miles from the center. With the eye of Fiona forecast to pass west of the island, that puts Bermuda on the bad side of this storm. And you can see the waves turning here on the south coast. This is where the most punishing blow of Hurricane Fiona will be. As many as eight deaths across the Caribbean now attributed to Fiona, four days after the storm made its first landfall in Puerto Rico. More than 900,000 customers remain without power there. And tonight, officials cannot say when it will be restored in the hardest hit areas. All right, so let's bring in Rob Marciano. He's live in Bermuda tonight, tracking this hurricane, of course, in the coming hours. And the next threat we mentioned uh, that could take aim at Florida. Rob, first, this hurricane that Bermuda faces in the coming hours. Yeah, well, the last couple of hours, David, the wind and the surf, for that matter, has really picked up. It's now just 250 miles to our south, accelerating in our direction. So let's look at the stats of Fiona. Right now, the movement is at 20 miles per hour, and it's got winds of 130 miles per hour. But look at that eye, a 30-mile-wide eye now, and the wind field is expanding. Tropical storm force winds extending across 450 miles. That is massive. There you see it slamming Bermuda to the overnight with strong side of the surge, damaging winds here, then quickly to Nova Scotia tomorrow night. It's going to be damaging storm there. Rough surf continues along the East Coast. And here's that next wave you mentioned. We're worried about it in the Caribbean, likely to become our next tropical storm by Monday with most of our computer models taking it towards the Gulf Coast or Florida sometime next week, likely as a hurricane. David. All right, let's get through this one first. Rob, you and the crew, please stay safe tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.